I never thought I'd see the day when I would buy a battery powered push mower, but uh, today's the day. The default DCMWSP244U2 mouthful. This is the self propelled, this is the 20 volt version. Got comes with 10 amp hour batteries, two slow chargers, made in the USA, global materials, asterisk. Uh, I'm excited to unbox this and try it out. Oh, 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 more power. I chose this over what I felt was probably the closest competitor in price and feature over the Ryobi, which is a 40 volt model. Uh, and it comes with two six amp hour batteries. Uh, I chose this one purely because the review said it basically will go an hour, hour and a half on one single charge of the two 10 amp batteries. The Ryobi, goes about 35 minutes on each battery and it only uses one battery at a time maybe overall runtime is about the same but without having to change the batteries that's why i chose this john deere i still love you i love you dearly uh, but this 2021 times are changing let's unbox it and see what is going on here box open let's dig in all right here's the contents of the box uh, clearly, our batteries here, the side discharge, uh, the bag, and I don't intend to use the bag out here. We're out here in rural route America, out in the country. We don't bag crap out here. So I'll install the uh, the side discharge here. Uh, we'll throw the bagger to the side and see how it goes. A little more detail at the contents here. Here's the big old honkers. Uh, these batteries on their own, if you bought them from DeWalt, they're probably, I don't know, 130 40 50 bucks a piece. This whole uh, kit here was $4.99 at Home Depot. Uh, this is March of 2021. There's the batteries, and there's the chargers, and I know these aren't the greatest chargers, but if you're a tool person, you probably got some fast chargers around anyhow. So I'm going to cut the, uh, let's cut these little zip ties off here. And I get all this crap off. I'll set up the handles and give it a run. And once you get all the crap off the mower, lay the handlebars back. And then these have uh, a little quick release here. You just pull it, and then that's gonna come over, come over center, snap into place, maybe. There you go. This tickle would say. And then it looks like this is going to slide down and be held on with these knobs here. And I'd like to confirm that with the directions, but as others have uh, noted in some of the reviews, these are so bad as to be worthless. Um, I don't mind the, the not having words, but the pictures are small. They don't make much sense, and the detail on it is tiny. Like... If you got new fresh eyes, you, maybe you're okay with that, but my eyes are not so new and fresh anymore. All right, let's slide this on and get it set up. All right, so you get these up into place, and then that uh, post there just slides into the uh, slides into the the hole in the gray part of the handlebar here on both sides. And then you take. One of those bolts, slide it through like so, a carriage bolt. And get your old knob started on there. Give your knob a twist. And then tighten this down too. Let's do the same thing on the other side here. What I, I see, um, you know, one of the other things I like about this, uh, I looked at these tires on here, and these are nice grippy tires, and while that may sound cheesy. Uh, I think it, it may make a difference, especially when you're using the self-propelled model like this. Um, urban areas, you know, little postage stamp yards, no big deal. But, and of course this doesn't look hilly right here, but down behind the house that way, and especially down this way, we've got some pretty, pretty decent hills. And if your parents are aging like mine are, they're gonna appreciate the, uh, the old self-drive. Now, as I feared, these batteries don't have hardly any charge in them, but I'm going to throw them in here anyway. 
and see if we can at least get it to make some noise. And if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, right here. Okay. And this is another complaint I read about is that the lid doesn't stay uh, up the way that you would think it would when you're installing the batteries. But I'm going to assume we slide like this, and we do. There's one. <clears throat> It's probably a lot easier if you're not trying to hold a phone, but at the same time, it ain't no big deal. So there's that. Now, from my rudimentary understanding of the directions, there's a on-off button here. Start, press button, and hold to pull rail handle. Okay, so... Okay, I believe one of those is the start button. How do you know? This might take some experimentation. Well, I'd love to show you guys this thing running, uh, but I can't because it's supposed to come with a safety key that goes up into that slot there. Put the key in and then you turn it on by pressing this button. And I'm gonna guess that you see that battery indicator come on down there, but I don't have a key. And I've looked in the box several times, looked under the mower, I've looked in here, and uh, I don't see any key. I took the batteries out. Uh, I'm at a loss on this one, guys. So, I guess this review won't be quite as thorough as I wanted it to be. I guess since I'm here, I'll show you uh, that this is a a steel deck, and there's what it looks like underneath. Comes with the blade pre-mounted, uh, and I believe you you got front-wheel drive on this one as opposed to uh, a lot of the others that are rear-wheel propelled. But I think this is front drive, and I sure wish I could prove it. <laughs> But anyway, uh, if you buy one, know that you might have to be taking it back if it doesn't have a key. God dang it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, eventually update this, and I'll show you some runtime on it, see how it does. But for now, for now, not going to happen. So after finding out that I did not have a safety key for this lawnmower, which, by the way, on the box itself, it says is part of the included uh, pieces of the kit. I called the customer service number that you see in front of you and I spoke to Anna who is obviously from the Philippines and she is regret to inform me that because the mower is so new there is no replacement part available and to take it back to the Home Depot for return. And before you think I'm making fun of Filipinas, uh, I'm not. I am married to one for almost 20 years, so I've got the accent down pretty well. So that kind of left a sour taste, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, if they don't have parts, they don't have parts. But now I've got to box this huge thing back up, take it back up to Home Depot, and then get another one. And hopefully the next one I choose has got the key in it. And I swear, you know, they got like <clears throat> at least 10 of these in there. Choose one or 10, Saturn ascends. I may or may not get a key in the next box, who knows. The whole thing is really irritating. I'm frustrated by it, and it makes me want to hold a grudge against DeWalt for doing this. I don't know how you can put out a tool like that and have no replacement parts available in case a customer needs one. To me, that's just insane. I mean, it, it's not like I broke one. There wasn't one in the box. And I, and I don't see how they don't have parts on hand to be able to supply to customers that need that kind of assistance. Um, but if Reverend Maynard was here, he would tell me to let this go. So I'm going to try to choose to let this go. I'm going to give him one more shot. And if they don't deliver, 
And if the next if the next one is still kind of a lackluster experience, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pony up and I'm gonna get the Makita, of which I'm rapidly becoming a fan of their tools. And to hey with Stanley, Black and Decker and DeWalt, and uh, I can send my money elsewhere. Let go, let go, let go, let go. So if you want to take a chance on this thing, do it. Know that all those parts should be in there. Look for that key first before you get too far into the process. Look for that key and all the other little parts before you get too far into the process. That way, if you got to take it back, you're going to know uh, before you get too excited about turning the thing on and getting ready for a mow job. So anyway, good luck with your mower. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. And if I ever get this sorted out, I'll make a part two of me actually using the stupid thing. Thanks for watching.